Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. everyone. How are you, Frank? And I think I find, teacher, 
I think I don't I don't have any any comments for this Wednesday only okay. routine. Okay. And the most important thing that the, that the end of the day is that, that we are ready to learn English class with you, teacher. All right, excellent. Glad to hear that you're fine and you're ready to to get to the you, English class. Yeah, well, the most important I'm, thing for this day is the is that. Cool. Um. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm okay. I would say I, I'm exhausted. This week has been crazily busy, but yeah, I'm here. <laughs> so the important thing at the end is that I'm here. I keep on going. So yeah, how it goes. Very nice, teacher. Okay, Sulma, good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Um, very good. Great. How was your day? Uh, team for class. Okay, nice. And how was your day, Sulma? Um, um, in the morning, I got to be late. Oh, nice. Um, in the afternoon, I went to visit my grandmother. Okay, good. Susana Margarita, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? All good. All right, nice. And how was your day? Yes. I might get up early to go to gym, go to work. And I came home early and clean my house. That's all fairly quiet. Okay, good. Tony, good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. Cool. How was your day? Oh, well. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? Um, uh, my day was great. Okay, nice. Jose Manuel. In the, in the after. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Tony. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. In the afternoon, I'm just sleep and to 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 our hours. Oh. And at the dormi una dos horas. Okay. It sounds nice. You had some time to rest. <laughs> you took a long nap. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> That's why you're happy today. No, you're always happy, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Tony. Let me see, Jose Manuel. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How, how are you today? <clears throat> um, a good day. Uh, okay. I love football. I love football and a lot of tired. Okay. Uh, sleep, sleeping, but here in classes reading. Okay, all right. I'm glad that you're ready for the class. Yes. Let me see, Daniel Margarita. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, everybody. Hello. How are you doing? <sighs> um, I'm okay. Um, all right. Tell me about your day. How was it? Mm -hmm. oh, it was a your day. Easy. Yeah. I'm getting mad with people. <laughs> okay. All right. But it's okay. Fine. And Daniel Ramos, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Dalia? I'm fine. Okay, perfect. How was your day? Mm, busy work. Mucho trabajo. You had a lot of work. It was busy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. But was it was it good? Was it all right? Come. Was it all right? Was it fine at the end? Yes, fine, fine. Mm 
Fa day. Okay. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, so I'm glad to, to hear that you are all good and ready to start with the class. So let's do it. Okay. So welcome everybody. This is our Wednesday's class. And we're almost done with the course, right? We're just missing two more classes after this one. And well, we are going to start with our review of the last topic I studied, which was there is and there are. So what can you tell me about there is and there are in the affirmative form? What do you remember about there is and there are? There is for singular and there are in plural. Okay, we use there is with singular nouns. And we use there are with plural nouns. What else? Mm -hmm. Anything else you remember about there is and there are? There's another use for there is. What is it? Anybody? Remember that we also use there is with non-count nouns. Okay. So we got two different uses for there is, singular nouns and non-count nouns, and there are goes with plural nouns. Now let's make, <clears throat> sorry, just give me a sec. My throat is kind of tired today, so. Okay, let's continue. Give me some examples using there is with singular nouns, please. There, there is a, a pencil. There is a pencil. Okay, what else? There is a spoon. There is a spoon. Okay, anything else? There is a table. There is a table. The other. There is a book. There is a book. Okay. Nice. So we got some singular nouns, right? A pencil, a cell phone, a table, a book. And we use them with there is. Now let's use there is with non-count nouns. Give me some examples, please. <clears throat> there is water. There is sugar. There is water. There is sugar. There is money. There is sand. There is money. There is money. sand. There we go, we got some non count nouns, water, sugar, money, and sand. And they go with there is. Now let's work with some examples using there are. Can you give me some? There are children. There are children. What else? There are four dogs. There are? Four dogs. Four dogs. Okay, any other? There are some aliens in my closet. There are some aliens? Is that what aliens. you said? Aliens. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. 
any other example? Um, there are women at the salon. <clears throat> Sorry, can you repeat it? There are women at the salon. Women at the salon. Salon. Okay. Uh, All right, good. So that is what we have for the use of there is and there are. Remember that we use there is with singular nouns and non-count nouns, and there are with plural nouns. Now let's continue by reviewing the negative form. What do we have for the negative? There isn't. I got there isn't. There aren't. And there aren't. And we also have some other forms. Which ones? There is no. There is no. Or? There is not. You can also say there is not. There aren't. What are the other forms? There are not. not. There are not. And there aren't. There aren't, there are not, and there are not. There no. are not. Okay. okay, let's try to make some examples of negative sentences using there is and there are. Tell me some. There is no peace in the world. Okay. Any other example using the negative? There isn't any chocolate. There isn't any chocolate. There is no water in the pool. Okay. More examples. Um, there aren't children. At school, I don't know. Are in children at school? Okay. What else? <coughs> they are not in that classroom. Um, sorry, can you repeat that one, Soma? There are not in the classroom. There are not what? Tenemos agregar ahí algo de lo que estamos hablando. There are not. Mm. Could be desks, boards, and books. I mean, just whatever thing you can find in a classroom. There are not. Let's say boards, Sulma. Boards, classroom. Mm -hmm. okay. Give me more examples, please. There are no coconuts in the supermarket. There are no coconuts in the supermarket. Okay. Any other example? Mm -hmm. There are not cell phone in my bag. There are not or there is not a cell phone in my bag. Uh-huh. There, there is. There is not. 
There's not a um, cell phone in my bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other? Let's keep on making sentences. There, there are no shoes in the store. There are no shoes. There are no shoes at the store. Yes. Okay, good. We got some examples. Remember, we got the three different forms for the negation. There isn't, there is no, there is not. And for the plurals, there aren't, there are not, and there are no. Now let's review the question form. Okay, so what can you tell me about questions? What do you remember about questions? How do we make questions using are, the are? Are there farm? any roosters in on in the farm? Is there, are okay. there? We say we use any are there roosters. like are there any roosters? Roosters in, in the farm. Okay. And what else? Well, how can we answer to this? Can I look? Yes, they oh. are. There are. Yes, there are. There are. For the negative answer would be no. There are no. There are not or there aren't. Good. Give me more examples. Yeah. Are there are there any chicken? Are there any chickens in the freezer? Okay, in that case, um, when we refer to food, chicken would be non count. So we would say, is there any chicken in the fridge? La palabra chicken sería non count cuando se refiere a comida. Cuando nos referimos a animales, sí puede ser contable. Mm -hmm. Entonces es, is there. Is there any chicken mm -hmm. in the fridge? And we'll yes. Say yes. Yes, there is. Yes. Or no. Or there is none. There's not. Okay. Another question using are there or is there? Are there buses in the station? Are there buses in the station? How do we answer that one? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Or... Oh no, there are not. There are not, or there are. Good. Another question, please. Are uh, there some almonds in the salad? Are there? Repeat it, please. Almonds. Any. Any almonds? Oh, yeah. Any almonds? In the salad. Yeah. Okay. The answers? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. There aren't. Good. One more, please. Are there roses in the garden? Are there roses in the garden? Answers? Uh, yes, there are. Yes, there are. And? No, there are, aren't. There aren't. Okay, perfect. We 
got some different questions. Using are there and is there. Now let's continue with some speaking. So I ask you this question, what places are there at your workplace? I wanted to describe your workplace. Um, for example, in my workplace, there are some basketball courts. There is a big soccer field. Um, there are many different offices. There are classrooms and so on, right? So that's what I want you to tell me. Tell me about your workplace. Dalia Margarita, you start. There is a reception. Okay, what else? There are two meeting rooms. All right. There is a photocopy place or copy place. Uh, there is a bathroom. There is a lunch, a lunch facility. Um, there are like five offices. And um, we have some spaces like open spaces where we work. There are some co-workers, yeah. And uh, that's all, yeah. Excellent, Talia. Thanks for sharing. Susana, yeah. how about your workplace? Mm -hmm. Susana, I don't know if you're talking. Your microphone is off. Listen to me? Yes. There is my clinical medical near some parking and near some uh, se cancha. Um, a soccer field or a basketball court? No, and soccer so field. Okay. Um, there is chicken, chicken uh, baker. There is bacon. Okay. Um, uh, there is computer workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, there is office. There is office or there are offices? There are offices. Okay. Uh -huh. There is a school. Okay. Mm. There is music workshop. Okay. In level two. And there is table tennis workshop. And that's all. Okay, very good, Susana. Thanks for sharing. Jose Manuel, you're next. Jose Manuel, check your microphone, please. I'm sorry. There is a human resource office. Mm -hmm. and there are uh, several bathrooms. Mm, there is an infirmary. A nurse's room. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and there are uh, two two winers. Two. And can you repeat that one? There are uh, two wineries and bodegas. Oh, okay. Let me check that word because I'm not sure. Let me see bodega. Continue, I'll tell you in a moment. Um, there is a cafeteria. Okay. Is that it? A yes. bodega is sealer or warehouse. Oh, sealer, okay. Sealer or warehouse. Thank you. Okay, so thanks to yeah. you, Jose. And let me see, Cecilia, what can you tell us about your workplace? 
Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Miss. Um, in my world, there is a reception, and there are two meetings rooms. There is a kitchen. There is a bathroom, and there are six work space. And there are five parking space. Okay, very well. Thanks for sharing, Cecilia. Let's see, Tony, what can you tell us about your work, please? Okay. In my work, um, there is a human report. Resources. 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 Um, there, there are cafeterias in level three. Okay. Um, there are, there are, um, finance and, fi ¿Cómo es finanzas? Finance. Finance. Mm -hmm. Okay, finance and level one, two, and three, and parking area. Okay, there's a parking area. Is that all? Uh, no more. Okay, fine. Thank you, Tony. And let me see, Carmelina, you're next. Okay. In my office, uh, there are a uh, there is a reception. There is a waiting room. There is a kitchen. There is a construction area um, and then the there is a area commercial commerce commercialization area mm -hmm. commercial commercialization area. area you can say yes and there is a marketing area and there are uh, me meeting rooms. Okay, excellent, Carmelina. Let me see, Frank, what can you tell us about your workplace? In my workplace, there are two parking lots, uh, there is a clinic, there is a playground, and in the playground, there, are, there is a slide, there are uh, mm -hmm. several swings, and there, are, there, is a, there are two offices, there is a warehouse, there are, there are many, many rooms, an art classroom, a music room, a carpentry room, there is a welding, welding room, mm -hmm. and there is a cafeteria. A cafeteria. Cafeteria. Okay. And that's all. Pretty well. Thanks. Rafael, what places are there at your workplace? Um, they are classroom. Okay. There are, they, they is there is. There is. There is carpet room. All right. There is green green sun. Oh, an outdoor um an outdoor area. Like a, you say outdoor area. Yeah. Rafael. Yeah. There are there is a clinic. Okay. Great. Thanks for sharing. 
Now, Dalia Ramos, go ahead and tell us about your workplace. Yes, in my workplace, there is a parking and there is a reception and there are two uh, bathrooms and there are two offices of managers and her first the operation and second marketing and there are other office but architecture uh, there is a second plan yeah. I no estaba segura si se dice there is yeah. there is a second floor you mean or what do you mean Um, Dalia, what do you want to say? Uh, okay, uh, there is a second plan. The a second uh, floor. Segunda, sorry, Dalia, ah. eh, segunda planta, quiere decir. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Second floor. Sí. Second okay. floor. The second, the second floor, there is the office accountant. Um, Countant's office. Uh, Countant office. And there is cafeteria. Okay. Excellent, Talia. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. How about your workplace? In my workplace, uh, there is an office. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a clinic. There is a parking, there is a kitchen, um, there are bathrooms, there is a school inside the workshop, uh, there is an area various uses, uses, no sé cómo se for different uses, for different uses, uses, or yeah. Um, Different purposes. Different uses. Um, um, there is second floor. Okay, there's a second floor. Excellent, Zulma. And Carlos Jose, what can you tell us about your workplace? I mean, um, in my workplace, there is a receptionist. There are two meeting rooms. There is uh, one accountancy office. There, there are one receptionist. Um, there is one reception. All. Okay, fine. There is one reception, yes. Okay, very well, thank you. I think everybody has participated. Let me just um, tell you, remember that we say at my workplace, at, at my workplace. And then if there's more than one floor, we say, for example, on the first floor, on the first floor, then we got on the second floor, or on the third floor. Or serían las plantas. Primera planta, first floor. Segunda planta, second floor. Tercera planta, third floor. So we refer to them. And remember that we say, for example, the manager's office. The manager's office. Or my boss office. The supervisor's office. So let's continue by reviewing the use of some and any. What do you remember about this? Some is for affirmative and any for negative and questions. That's correct. So we use some for affirmative sentences 
any for negative sentences and questions. Give me some examples, please. How can we use, let's start with some. There is or there are, there are some apples. Any other example using some? Is some lemonade? More, please. I omitted the, the verb there. Yeah. Okay. Any other? Uh, there are some raccoons. There are some raccoons. Okay. There is, there is some X. In that case, we use R because we're saying X. R. There are some oh. X. Good. Okay, now how about the use of any? Let's use any in some negative question, negative sentences and questions. Any? Mm -hmm. What can you tell me? There isn't any treasure. There isn't any pressure. Mm -hmm. What else? There aren't any doors. There aren't any doors. Okay. How about some questions using any? There aren't any apples. There aren't any apples. Okay. And questions? Let's use are there. Are there any eggs? Are there any eggs? And one with is there? Is there any rainbow? Any rainbow? Okay, good. So keep that in mind. We use some with affirmative sentences and any with negative in questions. Now I got an exercise for you to continue practicing. I need you to copy it and complete it. So let me give you some minutes so you did that. You have to complete by using some or any. For example, in number one, we have, have a question. You have you got any tomatoes? Any tomatoes. Mm -hmm. and Okay, let's do it together. Number two, can you read it, Rafael? And read it and tell me the answer, please. Can we turn off the microphones, please? There we go, Rafael. Open your microphone. Thanks. Um. There are some. Um, number two, there are some exercise books on the floor. Good. Let me grab the answers. Have you got any tomatoes? Have you got there are some exercise books. Number three, Daria Ramos. Daniel Ramos, can you read number three and tell me the answer? Yes. Uh, you should eat. Um, number uh, three. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Okay. Did you get, no, 
did you get the ketchup? No, they didn't have um, any or some. Uh, any, any? Any, yes, that's correct. We're using a negative, didn't have any. Any, uh -huh. Number four, Cecilia. Teacher, sorry. Tell me. Uh, the pronunciation um, ketchup. No sé qué es esa palabra. Ketchup. Ketchup. That is the salsa dulce, salsa ah. de tomate. Ketchup. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, Cecilia, go ahead. You shall eat some fresh fruit. Very good. We use some because it's an affirmative sentence. Next one, Sulma. Sulma. Perdón, perdón. Uh, we had to wait for some minutes. For some minutes. Good. Number six, Jose Manuel. Is there any lemonade left? Is there any lemonade left? Great. And Frank, next one. They didn't sing any songs. Any songs. Number eight, Carlos. Sorry, miss. Uh, number eight. Here, uh, <clears throat> here are some conflicts, but there isn't any milk. Thanks. Number nine, let me see what's missing. Dalia Margarita. I'm looking for some good music. Oh. And the last one, Tony. Is there one problem? I don't know. What really. happened? Oh. Okay, so how about Susana? Can you can you read it, please? There is no butter in the fridge. Let's go and get any. And get any or some? It's affirmative. Ah, it's some. Some. Okay. All right. Good. So there we are. Question. Tell me, Tony. Eh, eh, ahorita como tiene la pantalla a mí se me dificulta la lectura de la yes letra. so I yeah I didn't think you you Hello. see it this way okay let me get back to the other Hello. way yes thanks for telling me I thought you didn't Hello. see it this Hello. way Hello. Mm -hmm. okay let me go back to the other way let me see how do I get out of here like this. Okay, so today is our video conference number 18 and our topic is prepositions of place, practice. Let me remind you our specific objective is participants will be able to tell someone directions of where my workplace and someone else's workplace are, loca are located. And the class objective is participants will be able to use prepositions of place, practice. Now let's talk about some different prepositions of place. We have already studied three of them. Which ones? What are the prepositions we have studied? On, in, and at. On, in, and at. Now we are going to add some more to the list. We got the first one, which is along. So along would be, let's see, let me try to represent it with a figure. 
So it would be something like this, as if I had um, a path, let's say, then I go along, along the path. Lo largo de, or something like that. Then we have some examples. We walked along the beach collecting shells. I had to feel my way along the wall. The children ran along the path. They walk slowly along the road. I look along the shelves for the book I need. There we have some examples using the preposition along. Along, a lo largo de, like we walked along the beach. I had to feel my way along the wall. Got along the path, along the road, along the shelves. Then we have Teacher. a Tell me. Where is slowly? Uh, what is slowly? Um, that is the opposite to fast. Despacio. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, let me give you a minute in case you're copying the examples or something. Let's continue with the next one. We have in front of, in front of. For example, if we had, let's suppose this is a ball and we have a box. So the ball is in front of the box. The ball is in front of the box. In frente de, or frente a. And here we have some examples. They are in front of their house. They are in front of their house. This dragon statue is in front of a temple. The fountain is in front of the building. They sit in front of the TV and watch a movie. And he's sitting in front of his computer. You see, we use in front of, you know them, in front of their house, in front of a temple, in front of the building, in front of the TV, and in front of his computer. Let me give you some seconds so you copy the examples if you want. Okay, may we continue? May we continue? No, yes. Okay. Let's see what's next. Got another preposition, which is behind. And, oh, let me represent it. So the same that we had before. We got a box and we got a bowl. 
So in the last in the last one, we said that the ball was in front of the box. In this one, the box is behind the ball. The box is behind the ball. And here I have some examples on how to use behind. Who's the girl standing behind Jen? Who's the girl standing behind Jen? Behind the traste. Stay close behind me. There is a small street behind the station. And the sun disappears behind the clouds. My office is behind the conference room. Okay, let me give you a minute so you can copy if you'd like to. Let me know when you're ready to continue. Um, no. Okay. Okay, yeah. Good. Okay, next proposition is next to, next to. And it'll be represented. So we got once again the box and a ball. And we would say that the ball is next to the box. The ball is next to the box. Or we could also say that the box is next to the ball. A la parte de. Examples, we sit next to each other. We sit next to each other. The dog is next to the ball. The dog is next to the ball. There is a cafeteria next to the playground. There are some books next to the toys. We have a bedroom next to the living room. We have a bedroom next to the living room. So you see, we use next to each other, next to the ball, next to the playground, next to the toys, next to the living room. May we continue? Yes. Okay, fine. Our next proposition is among, among. And let's suppose that we have many balls.
We got many balls. And among the balls, we got a box. The box is among the balls. The box is among the balls. Entre. Um, examples, there is a house among the trees. There is a house among the trees. It's okay, you're among friends now. You're among friends now. The cat is among the leaves. The cat is among the leaves. There are some pencils among the markers. There is a building among the houses. Among the trees, among friends, among the leaves, among the markers, and among the houses. Miss, I yes. have a question. Tell me. Uh, among is uh, uh, alrededor de varios, que es diferente entre. a between, ¿verdad? Exactly. Entre. Ok, porque uh -huh. between también es entre. Exactly. Yes, but uh -huh. between is only for two things. So you say that something is between two different elements or two different things. But among includes more than two elements. Okay, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Um, are we ready to continue? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay, our next one is the one we just mentioned. It's between. Between would be similar to a monk, except that it talks about two two elements only. Let me use a different color. We got, for example, a box, then a ball, and then we got another box. So we would say that the ball is between the boxes. The ball is between the boxes. Es entre, como lo acabamos de mencionar, pero la diferencia entre among y between es que en, cuando digo between, estoy hablando de algo que está entre dos cosas o entre dos elementos. En cambio, el among podría incluir muchos más elementos, muchas más cosas. Now, the examples. My car is between the blue and the black car. My car is between the blue and the black car. Your bag is between the base and the computer. The cell phone is between the glasses. There is a meeting room between the manager's office and the supervisor's office. And the cat is between the balls. The cat is between the balls. Okay, let's continue with our next one, which is across. Across would be, for example, let's suppose that there is um, a place, let's say this is a, a park, for instance. And then you say that there is something across the park, across the park, al cruzar, or like um, across the street, for instance. Al cruzar, al... 
And here we have some examples. He walks across the field. He walks across the field. I draw a line across the page. I draw a line across the page. A green spread across her face. Where's the nearest bridge across the river? There is a small, there is a mall, sorry. There is a mall across the street. So we get across the field, across the page, across her face, across the river, across the street. Me. Hi. Eh, entonces, eh, across solo es como para cruzarse eh, de un lado a otro, no Exacto. solo para cruzarse. Uh -huh, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ok. Okay, um, are you ready for the next one? No, I don't know. Teacher, is missing a little S in the yep. bear and walk. The walks, yep. Oops. That is right. Okay, let's continue then. Next proposition is past. Um that is um, go past the, the post office, for instance. Pasando la oficina postal, right? I walk past several hotels. El pasar distintos o varios hoteles. There are, there is a clothes store. There is a clothes store past my house. Sorry, I missed the is over here. So there is a clothes store past my house. And the mall is past the park. The bus station is past the gas station. So I'll pasar la gasolinera, I'll pasar el parque, right? Past the park, past the gas station, past my house, past several hotels, past the post office. Miss, y si quiero decir pasando, siempre es pas. Yeah. Uh -huh. Al pasar uh -huh. o pasando. Yeah. It's the same. Okay, we got one last one, which is under. Under would be, for example, let me try to represent it. Um, so for example, if I got, let's suppose this is a chair and here under the chair, there is a, yeah, that's horrible. So let me try to make it with this. There's a ball. There's a ball under the chair. There's a ball under the chair. 
debajo de. And we have some examples which are. Oh. Your legs are under the table. Your legs are under the table. Monsters live under your bed. A river flows under a bridge. How long can you stay under the water? And there's a ball under the chair. That's the representation. There's a ball under the chair. We got under the table, under your bed, under a bridge, under the water, and under the chair. Did you finish? Yes. Okay. So now let's continue with the practice. Let me tell you about today's practice. So once again, we're going to go to the breakout rooms, work together. And today's practice is a little different. We're going to make some sentences, then do some speaking. Let me show you what it is. Okay. So in exercise A, individually, you make one sentence for each of the prepositions and you share your sentences with your classmates. So you have to make 12 sentences. Those are all the prepositions we have studied, along, in front of, behind, next to, among, between, across, past, under, in, on, and at. Make one sentence for each of them, and then you share your sentences with your classmates. After that, I needed to go and do some speaking. You have to describe your workplace using there is and there are in prepositions of place. For example, there is a nice garden next to the main building. Or you can say there's a, a meeting room next to my office or something like that, right? In exercise C, I, I need you to play a game. So you're going to make some drawings to represent sentences and you're going to have your classmates guess the sentences. So you can use some paper in maybe a marker, a pencil or just whatever you want. And you make some drawings, just simple drawings like the ones I was making with the representations, right? Hacemos dibujos sencillos, así como los como más o menos las figuras que estábamos utilizando para explicar las preposiciones y debemos eh, procurar que los compañeros um, que los compañeros how do you say guess in Spanish um, adivinen las las oraciones en las que estamos pensando so it could be something like the cat is under the table for instance hacemos un gatito ahí debajo de una mesa something like that right Okay, so let me send you to the breakout rooms. We're going to have some time to work on this. There you go.
¿Ya llegó el archivo? Sí, ahorita estoy bien. Dos oraciones por cada preposición, ¿verdad? Dos. It's only one. Ah, only one. Yeah. Ah, oh, thanks. Oh, I didn't say the same as I, I guess. It says two. But just make one, mm -hmm. it's fine. One. Wow. one. Bueno. Vamos a ir con ayuda. Frank. Mm. I run along the highway. Okay. Oh, the highway. A dos. I walk in front of the building. In front of the building, muy bien. Rafael. Maestro, behind es detrás, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. sí. ¿Qué oración haría el maestro, el maestro Rafa? Ah, oh, no tengo el archivo. Behind. No, solo hacer una oración behind, de, de referente behind. Behind es. Um, detrás. Sorry, detrás, just, detrás de la just make the sentences. Make the sentences individually and then you share. Mm. I mean, you all have to oh, get well. 10 sentences. I mean, 12 sentences. 12. Uh -huh. 12 sentences uh -huh. each okay. and then you share them. Okay, thanks. Mm. I walk. Para oh. llegar, para llegar a las salas, ¿cómo sería? To I the meeting room. Along the office. For qué? Para llegar, ¿cómo sería? Ay, no sé. To get. Right. To get, así. Yes, to get. To, to get. Them. Uh, Okay. Where do to you get want to at, get? Uh, meet, uh, meeting rooms. Meet, meeting rooms. Okay, you say to get to the meeting room. Allá afuera le pegaron a un chucho. To get to the meeting room. So you're making the sentences together. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So the idea Oops. was that each of you creates the sentences individually and then you share them. Yes, uh, two, two for. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. And it's only one sentence for each of the prepositions. One sentence, okay. Only one. Uh -huh. um, <clears throat> uh, you are along my house. A lo largo de mi casa. No, verdad. Sí, <laughs> pero qué más. <laughs> Como poder. Estás a lo largo. A lo largo de mi vida. Puede ser. Sí. Uh -huh. Of my life. Uh -huh. you, are, you are along of, of my life. Of my, uh -huh. Sí. Eh, yo tengo otra por ahí, no sé si les parece. Sí, dígalo. Eh, eh, <laughs> you, you are along the way. Entonces, Estás a lo largo del camino. Ah, ahí está. Cabal, algo así. Bueno, creo yo que significa eso. <ríe> away, the way, creo que es camino. 
Yes, language? that's correct. Oh, okay. Some of okay. the <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> if, if you are along the way? Yes, you are along the way, it's fine. please um, sorry did you say something i couldn't get it my internet is not okay mm. um, no sé si me preguntaron algo más o me dijeron algo más porque no no pude escuchar el internet se quedó um, se escucha entrecortado oh sorry Um, we, we, we walk along the mountain. We walk. We walk along the mountain. Along the mountain. Nosotros caminamos a lo largo de la montaña. Está bien. We we walk we walk along mm -hmm. the mountain. Sí. Está bien. We. Okay. Y vamos. ¿Y son dos por cada uno o dos de cada uno? Son dos de cada uno. De Vaya, cada uno. tenemos las dos primeras. Bueno, Ajá. Pero, ah. de veras, ¿verdad? <risa> Somos espaciales, digo. Ay, y front of the camera. ¿Cómo? Ay. Repite. Ay, in front of the camera. Cámara, camera, algo así se dice, no sé. Camera. Camera. Yes. En mi caso es in front of myself, my cell phone. <laughs> ok. Uh -huh. Sería... Okay. I in front of my cell phone, dijo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí. Ah, con mi güera, perdón. <risa> sí. Bueno, de no poder ver el cell phone, pues uh, I in front of the computer. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos ahorita más, más común, verdad? Oh, change, change in front of the TV. Of TV, correcto. <coughs> Elijan, ahí, de esas sí salieron varias. No. <risa> <risa> ah, yo, yo todas las he anotado. Hoy vamos con... Behind. Behind. Behind, que es una mujer behind, detrás de. Detrás de. Uh -huh. In the moment and behind, ¿qué hay detrás de mí ahorita? Aparte de la cortina, el tel. <ríe> no me voy a ver. Eh, ¿Cómo sería? Ay. The child is behind the sofa. Repeat, please. The child. The child. Uh -huh. Child is behind. Is behind the sofa. El niño está detrás del sofá. Ah. Ay, yo pensé que la hacía. 
No, Shai, ajá, Shai. Pero igual da, igual da, ajá. The Shire is behind. Uh -huh. Así entendí yo. Is behind ¿Sí? the sofa, ¿verdad? Ajá. Bye. Is behind of sofa. Así es. Sí, the child is behind the sofa. Ah, the sofa. The child is behind the sofa. Eh, tengo, tengo una de esas. Um, my mom is behind uh, of me. ¿Será correcto? Yep, sí, that's good. Sí. Behind me. Just you say behind me. Okay, repeat, please. Uh, oh, my, mom, my mom is behind Behind me, solo así, mi. Behind yes. me. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. Behind me. Uh -huh. My mom, my mom is behind, behind me. De mí. Is behind me. Uh -huh. Sí, es verdad. Mamá está atrás de mí. Uh -huh. <coughs> no voy a asustar si es así. <laughs> okay. Next two, ¿verdad? Next two, dijimos que es... A la par de. A la par de. Um, my cat is next to uh, the mouse. Mouse, no sé cómo es ese ratón, será lo mismo el ratón de la computadora con el ratón del animal. ¿Se pronunciará yes. lo mismo a mí? Yes, we say mouse. Uh -huh. Mouse. ¿Cómo repita? Uh, the cat uh, the is cat. next to the mouse. The cat. The cat. The cat. The cat mm -hmm. is next to the mouse. Está a la par del ratón. La par de... The car, <coughs> the car is next to of the motorcycle. Teacher, come on, come The car is next to the motorcycle. It's good. Yes. El carro está a la par de la motocicleta. Uh -huh. The car is next to the motorcycle. Y vamos a um, Amon. Ahora vamos con Amon. Amon, bien nos queda. Entre. Entre. Pero sí. este es el entre de varios elementos, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. That's right. O alrededor de varios elementos. O entre varios elementos que digo. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, ¿qué pudiéramos poner? Uh -huh. eh, um... Um, my song is among many people. That's good. My song is 
Son is S U N is among many people. My pencil among the in the my books. Repeat. My pencil among mm -hmm. my books. My books. Ahí no estoy segura. Yes, you say my pencil is among my books. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. My book. Okay. El otro sería between. Between también es entre, pero este sería dos elementos. Okay. Uh, my car is. Eh, ay, ¿cómo era la palabra? Between, is between car. Ay, no, pero es que my car is between the de street. <laughs> Tony, between. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Zulma en I. Entre, entre Zulma y, y Dalia. No. <ríe> Vea la pantalla. ¿Cómo? Vea la pantalla, está en medio de nosotras. Uh. Ajá. <ríe> en la de ustedes, en la mía, ¿no? Ah, bueno. <ríe> Tengo a Grijalba a mi izquierda, Zulma en medio y Dalia a la derecha. Ah, pues dígalo así. Vamos <risa> uh, con across. No, falta un between, ¿verdad? Sí, falta sí. un. Between, Tengo ya, una. Dijo, Ten... ya dijo una Dalia. De uh -huh. eh, orange is between the apple and the pineapple. The orange is the orange is between, is between the apple and the pineapple. The pineapple. Pineapple. Uh -huh. Pineapple. La naranja está entre la manzana y la piña. The apple and pineapple. Pineapple, pineapple. Pineapple, pineapple. Okay. The crust. <coughs> Al cruzar. Vamos a ver. Um, mm -hmm. Vamos a la número 7. I see you across the river. Mm -hmm. Repeat, I please. I see you across the river. Across? Across the river. Ah, yes, yes. Across the river. Mm -hmm. The river, ¿verdad? River. River. River, river es uh -huh. río, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Te veo al cruzar el río. Sí. Ok. Tengo the car mm -hmm. is across the strip. Repeat, please. The car is across the strip. Very good. Yes. The car is across. across 
this street. This? This. Is. This street. Ah. Mm -hmm. Vamos con... Ok, past. ahora vamos con past. Past es al pasar. Pero ese de past es como de una acción de caminar o de moverse o de... Ay, como les dije, que pudiéramos decir la semana pasada. Mm -hmm. So, in this case, mm -hmm. we're using it as movement. La primera opción, Dani. Ah, ok. Moverse, pasar por algún lugar. I pass in front of the park. Um, no, but you have to talk about location. Hay que hablar de ubicación. Entonces, debemos decir algo que está, por ejemplo, pass the... Let's say past the police station, there is um, a store. Uh, past the police me, station, there is a store. Tell me, Jose. And I across the border of Mexico? Um, no, I cannot say that. No. No. Okay. Repeat the example, miss. Okay, so it was past the station, there is a store. Past the station, there is a store. Pasando la estación, hay una tienda. Mm. Past ah. the station, there is a store. Okay. okay. Pass school is an. ¿Cómo se dice instituto? Instituto. Institute. Yep. Institute. Yeah. Institute. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces sería passing school is institute. Porque acá. No sé si está bien, Miss. Yeah, past, past the school, there is an institute. That's fine. Okay. Formula lo pregunta, sí. Es que aquí me acordé que pasando la escuela está el instituto. Past the school. Past the school. The school. Sería the, the institute. Mm -hmm. Yes, the institute. Es the or is? The. T H E. Vamos con con under. No falta todavía. Ya tenemos las dos. Yo tengo solo uno. Ajá. Ah, yo tengo una que es pass pass station from the shop. No. La que dijo la teacher. Yeah, but it was past the station. There is a shop. Or there is a store. Past the station. There is a shop. A shop is tienda. Shop is tienda, right? Yes. Right. Ok, así vamos con... Under. 
Under this mosquera, debajo de. Uh -huh. Debajo de. The dog under table. The dog is under, under. the table. The door. Dog is dog. Dog. Dog the ah, perro. Dog the perrito, okay. The dog mm -hmm. is under in the table. Under the table. Under the table. The cat the cat is under the box. What? Repeat. The cat is the cat is under the box. No. Box. Can you spell, please? Caja. Cat the is box. Ah, box. Box. B O X. Mm -hmm. Al menos el abecedario me lo aprendí. <laughs> funcionaron, <laughs> funcionaron cuatro semanas. <laughs> Y todavía no han dado la fecha de inicio para la segunda, ¿verdad? No, we do not know yet. Todavía no sabemos. A ver cuánto mm, habrá de Miss, tiempo? Miss, Hi. the question. Eh, ya que dijeron eso, yo me recuerdo que, que usted nos dijo con respecto a un que íbamos a, a, a evaluar. ¿Cómo se llama? Ah, sí, una encuesta de satisfacción. Ajá, correcto. Sí, eso sería el día viernes. Yo creo que aún no les han enviado la información. Se las estarían enviando entre mañana y el viernes para que tengamos todo listo y el día viernes en la sesión la vamos a llenar. Ah, entre todos. Thank you. Eh, sí, o sea, es individual, pero sí la vamos a hacer todos juntos porque eh, es necesario que tengamos mucho cuidado con algunos detalles, algunos datos. Mm. Ok. Vamos a poner mala calificación a T-shirt. Come on, Tony. Hey. <laughs> no. Ok, Tony Reproof. Qué malo. Reprobado. No, Tony Reproof. Qué, qué cosa que estamos, estamos bromeando. Estamos bromeando. Uh, ok, fine. Así, así por las buenas cualquiera. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Eh, ¿Cuál iba? ¿Con Im? Sí, en Im va a mostrar, ¿verdad? Um, vemos, they are in my house. They are. In my house. Sí, señor, verdad que se nos han, se retiraron varios compañeros del, del curso. Sí, varios ya no se conectaron, no sé. No sé qué les habrá pasado. Así estaba viendo. Uh -huh. vi nombre, en alguna vi nombres nuevos y en, o, y en otra uh -huh. ya no los vi. Yes, that's right. ¿Qué número vamos? Vamos en la 10. Yo di un oh. ejemplo. They are in my house. There are in... Uh -huh. en la otra, no, no sé si chill es para un niño. Miss? Yes, child. child. Uh, child. The child is in the box. El niño está en la caja. Bueno, no sé si, si está bien el in, porque dentro, yes, ¿verdad? That's fine. Uh -huh. Sí, ese uh, sería. Pues, dentro de la caja. Uh -huh. Is go in bed? She is go in bed? She is gone. Is, mm -hmm. uh, can you repeat that one, Dani? He is. He is good. She is good in bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you mean? A qué se refiere? Mm, que él está bien en. En, en ese caso tenemos que utilizar on. 
Ah, ok. No entendí, no, escu no escuché. Ah, no, es que ya me acordé. Ajá, porque es como para lugares, el in. Uh -huh. Sí. I live, ajá, I live in San Salvador. Yes, that's good. Uh -huh. oh. uh -huh. Ya tenemos los dos. Sí. Sí. Tres. Bueno, pasemos al on. Um, I am. A ver, Dalia. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Terrible para dibujar. Ah, no, no hay problema. No estamos en clase de arte. No quedé inglés. Híjole, pero la, la cosa es que no se me ocurrió nada. No, pero no hay problema. A lo mejor voy a poner esto. No, nah, hombre, que bueno. Bueno. No quiso mostrar los dibujitos, baja, muy bien. Quiero ver. Refiriéndome a este. Ah, oh, de una suculenta, Eva. Uh -huh. Pero que, ¿cómo dirá suculenta? Bueno, yo suculenta, lo voy a decir. Suculenta uh -huh. es. Ah, oh, the, the, the cup o the pot is under the suculenta. No. No. Vamos a ver, maestro Rafa. Opine. ¿Cómo es que dijo? No lo entendí. The pot o la maceta es under la suculenta. Yeah, kind of. Sí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y el maestro Rafa, ¿cómo lo interpretas? No va a ser Merry Christmas. <risa> ¿Sí? No. sí? Iba a decir a. ¿Cómo, cómo? Dream. Dream. <ríe> suculenta. ¿Y sí? Tomándose una suculenta. Tomándose una suculenta. <ríe> no nos quiso mostrar un muñequito, mira, Rafa. Mala, Dalia. Sí, es mala para dibujar. No, pero Esta aprende. Se desarrolló en mi vida. Sí. No, nah, pero se aprende cualquier habilidad en cualquier momento. Bueno, terminamos entonces, va. Sí, you finished. Sí, okay. yes, teacher. You were so fast. Okay. Um, do you have any questions? Anything that I may help you with? Mm, I think no, but okay. my partners, Mr. Rafa, ¿tienes dudas? Dice la teacher. No, que te puedo ayudar. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Rafa, Rafa. Así estamos bien. Está bien okay. todo. Muy good. All right, fine. And then I check the word, say it's succulent. Succulent. Ah, succulent. Thanks. Yeah. Succulent. Mm -hmm. ¿Le gustan las plantas, Dalia? No, la verdad es que me las regalaron en esta Navidad. Ah, son bonitas. Las <laughs> suculentas. Sí, son muy bien. Aquí el agua, aquí había una piedrita. Arriba un puente. Por donde pasó la chica. A bridge. Wow, you're so good at drawing. Hola. Yes. You're so good at drawing. Super buena dibujando. Natural history. Cool. Yeah, I know. Very nice. You're really great. A day in the morning, Carmelina walk along of the street. Between, Between the rows. Between the rows. Between the rows. Between the rows. Under the roses. Roses. A man. Because yes. there are many roses, right? Among. She's passed right there. Okay, she's passed the river. Cross, nice. Across? No. Across, across the river. Yeah, yeah, you can also use across over there. Okay. The wall she, along she's see in the the fish. <laughs> she sees the fish. Okay. The wall along. In the street. Okay. She walks yes. along the street. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
among the roses. In among the roses. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Oh, along, along, a lo largo del camino, along the way, se puede decir Along así? the way or along the path. Okay. Yes. Along the path. Okay. Mm -hmm. Vaya, alguien más que otro dibujito. O le, le, seguimos faltaron, a... le faltaron las gotas de lluvia para decir under, she's walk under the rain. Mm, that's right. She's walking under the rain. Uh -huh. yes. Nice. Okay. Así las gotitas de agua. Uh -huh. Yo no sé, ¿verdad? In, in front <laughs> of the church. In front of the church. Y media vez pasó la tormenta, encontró el sol in front de, ¿cómo se dice sol? Sun. 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 Así el sol sonriéndole. <laughs> ok. When Carmelina arrives to the church, eh, she says, you did it, Luisina. <laughs> para finalizar la historia lo hicimos yes. very well lleguemos a, a la escuela de inglés ¿va? <laughs> aquí pongámosle una lo vamos a hacer moderno miss hi eh, the friday is the exam Yes, we got an exam for Friday, the final exam. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Miss. Oral teacher. Okay. No, just on the platform, in, in a plataforma. Es similar al que hicimos en la segunda semana. Ah, okay. Pero se perdió el cabal el viernes, ¿o cómo? Um, no, yo creería que ya está activo, pero eh, sí les recomendaría que esperemos hasta el viernes por la cuestión de los temas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que no okay. hemos completado todos los temas. Okay. Sure. Bueno, y hay otro ejercicio, ya no, este era el último. Este es el último. That was the last one. Sí. Yes. Okay. So we'll get back in a couple of minutes. Okay, thanks. Teacher. Hi. Solo quizás una recomendación. La vez pasada uh -huh. usted dejó que viéramos una conferencia, una videoconferencia, y que hiciéramos comentarios. Uh -huh. La cuestión es de que, bueno, por lo menos yo no he tenido tiempo de verlas y de estar uh -huh. haciendo comentarios. Uh -huh. No, y usted Susana. dijo de que los que los iba a revisar hasta sábado al mediodía, pero yo trabajo toda la mañana el sábado. Entonces, sí. tal vez no diera chance de no tarde. Eh, no, Susana, creo que ahí no entendimos muy bien la indicación. Lo que no. pasa es que debe eh, participar dentro de la, del foro, pero ah. el foro no es en base al video, sino que ahí yo les puse en una... La clase. Sí, yo les puse una indicación, nada más, creo que era acerca de su rutina de trabajo, algo así. Uh -huh. Entonces, solamente lea la indicación y participa. No es necesario ver la, la videoconferencia. Oh, yeah. Que de hecho, esos videos corresponden a las videoconferencias que tenemos cada noche. Entonces, uh -huh. sí, ustedes que están aquí siempre, pues no, no tienen problema con ello. Sí, sí. pero solo ese ha sido, ¿verdad, Miss? Uh -huh.
teacher. Hi. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> so you didn't finish. Oh, frustrado, lo veo. <laughs> oh, come on. Entonces, no lo voy a decir esta ocasión. <laughs> you won't say it, Tony. Okay. All right. So, do we have any questions, any doubts about the prepositions we were practicing? Everything's clear? Okay, so everybody go to page number 39 in your student's manual. And we're going to complete some exercises. So the first one is exercise number two. And we're going to listen to the pronunciation of the places. And we're going to practice it, of course. So please repeat after me. Bank. 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 Sport Palace. Sport, Sport Palace. Palace. School. 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 Barrier Street. Barrier Street. 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 Mall. 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 First Avenue. First, First Avenue. 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 Park. 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 Second Avenue. Second, Second Avenue. 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 Church. Church. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street. 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 Restaurant. 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 Arrows Company. Arrows, Arrows Company. Company. Book World. Book, Book World. 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 Okay, now that we have checked the map and checked the places that there are in the map, um, let's answer some questions. So there you are. And there are only three questions. Please read them, answer them, and then we share the answers. Let me know when you finish, please. Finish. Okay, so let's check. Number one, which street is the restaurant on? Roosevelt Street. The restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. Good. Yeah. Number two, which street is the city hall on? The city hall on 2nd Second Avenue. Avenue. The city yeah. hall is on 2nd Avenue, okay. And which street is the park on? The park on First Avenue. The park is on First Avenue. Okay, good. Um, all right, so let me remind you that today we got our one-on-one -on -one sessions and the people who are scheduled are, well, they are not here. So any of them is here. And then I have some spots for for you to take them if you'd like to review something or just keep on practicing English. So do I have anybody who would like to join? Um, Tony, are you going to join today on the one-on-one -on -one section sessions? Um, no sé si se van a unir alguno a las sesiones uno uno de 10 a 11. Um, si sí, la gente que han asignado para ahora no creo que lleguen porque no, no participan. So, no sé si tengo alguno que quiera tomar algún espacio. O... Sí, yo sí. 
Ok, Tony, entonces puede ser de 10 a 10-10. Okay. Y no sé si tengo a alguien más. Bueno, en todo caso, voy a estar por ahí hasta las 11. Si alguien decide entrar, pues ahí nos vemos. So, have a good night, everybody, and remember to do homework number 18. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night.